Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I've got my coffee and I am ready to kick off another fun fold Friday. I have a fun fold, <laughs> a fun card today. Um, it's called the Accordion Lock Card. Okay. And this is a great card. Uh, I love how you can do different things with the inside. I love how it goes together. Everybody loves a fun, different fold, how things pop out different ways. Um, so I, I'm excited to share this one with you. I've already got the blog post typed with the measurements. It goes live today at noon. So you want to definitely check my blog at noon if you want to make this card. You can see some more close-up pictures of this card and all the measurements will be over there. So it's already set to go. So I hope you will have fun and you'll try this one either today or on the weekend. Good morning, everybody that's popping on. Good to see you. It's Friday. It's sunny here. So we are hopefully out of the rain for a few days. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm going to get out for my walk today and it's going to be a great weekend. Don't forget, you guys, I got lots to do today. Um, tomorrow is my big, huge garage sale. There's a bunch of us selling retired Stampin' Up! stuff at the Dalhousie Community Association here in Calgary. Um, and we are going to be starting that sale at 10.30. It goes to, or sorry, 11.30 to 1.30. So it's for two hours. And I haven't done this um, sale in three years. And I'm over the moon excited to do this. Um, so come out, let's check out what's going to be on those tables. I have no idea. We're all getting together with our stuff. And I got a lot of stuff because it's been three years, like I said. Okay, so let's flip the camera and we're going to get started. I'm going to put my coffee way over there in the corner <laughs> so I don't drop it or not drop it, but spill it, tip, tip that over. That would be a disaster. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm super excited about this one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we're going to flip and turn you down at my work surface here. And we've got my paper trimmer on the screen. Let's slide over here so you can see a bit better. Okay, so as always, I love your comments. I love reading them. I love knowing who's with me. Please leave me a comment or share my video or give me a like or a heart. I love all of that interaction. It really keeps me going. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you this little strip of paper in just one second, but let's start with the base of the card. So here I have a piece of Rich Frazzleberry, half of a sheet, right? Our normal size for a regular card. So eight and a half by five and a half. And we're not gonna score it in the middle. First thing I'm gonna do, bring in my paper trimmer. I'm gonna trim this to eight and a quarter. So basically it's eight and a quarter. It will be eight and a quarter by five and a half. So let's just bring in my trimmer and we're gonna trim off that little quarter inch. Just this little strip, you do not need that. And then for my scoring, I'm gonna bring in my score tool. Hello, Anne from Wisconsin. Thank you for joining me. So here's my score tool. I'm putting it up at the top here in the corner. I'm gonna grab my little score tool. Now, if you've never seen this, if you're new, this it sits down here at the bottom. So it has two different uh, bulb, uh, bumps on the ends for scoring. So you can uh, use whichever one you like. I like the thick one. I, I find it's gentler with the cardstock. So we're gonna push that into the corner here. We are going to score three lines. We're gonna score at two inches, four and one eighths of an inch, and six and a quarter. There we go, six and a quarter. Okay, so then these two fold in and this one folds up. Okay, so this is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, this is like an M or a W, whichever way you want to look at it. So this is how the fold goes. Um, Tanya, they will be on my blog at noon Mountain Standard Time today. If you want to go and print those, or not print them, but write them down, they will be posted on my blog today. I've got the post already to go. It's set to go live at noon. Please leave me a comment if you head over there. It's so good to see um, you guys join me here and on my blog as well. Joining me from Sioux City. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is Rich Razzleberry. This week, I am playing with Nature's Prints, as you guys know. And it's today is Friday. This is my fifth and final card this week with this uh, suite. If you purchase the Sun, if you live in Canada and you purchase the Sun Suite this week before Sunday at midnight is the deadline for this special. 
I'm going to send you all five card packages. Okay. So you're going to be able to watch my blog, watch my videos. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you so much. Hi, Lynn. Thank you for joining me. You can watch those videos and you can recreate all five cards that I've made this week. So I love, love, love to offer you guys that. So don't forget Sunday at midnight is the deadline to order your suite. Now, if you already have the sun suites, suite, don't worry, you can order something else, the equivalent value, and you're still gonna get my card kits in the mail. And you have to live in Canada. That's just a Stampin' Up! rule. I can only sell to um, my own markets, right? Um, okay, so here is our card base. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Let's bring in some designer series paper. Now, the sun print suite is going to include, I've been featuring this one all week. This is the Sun Prince 12 by 12 paper. Now the colors in this one are the Knight of Navy, all the blues, right? We've got Pacific Point and as well the gray granite. So I love to challenge myself to use different colors. So today we're going to use a different DSP. And the one you see on the screen, these little strips here, they are from, let me just look at the proper name. They're called Pretty Prints from 12 by 12 Pretty Prints. Let me just show you. I've already trimmed mine down to six by 12 and six by six because I gave these out as gifts for my team. So I'm just gonna show you the pattern here. So we've got all kinds of different colors going on here. We've got Blackberry Bliss, Rich Razzleberry featured in here. I can even see some Highland Heather. You can use this for all kinds of projects. Look how beautiful this paper is. Of course, it's double-sided and so you get um, four different colored palettes. This one has our Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, all the beautiful greeny blues. And there we go. That's that one. And then this one here has like our orangey pinky colors. Uh, Eclipse of Coral is definitely featured here. I love, love, love this paper. So of course you get 12 by 12, but as, as I mentioned, these are trimmed down. And here is our darker green. There's another one of the, the other Bermuda Bay colors, but this is our darker green featuring, you can, ha you can see here, um, Evening Evergreen is definitely coming out through here. And let's see, what else? They do list the colors, so you don't have to, it's not a guessing game, guys. So on the back of your, your um, designer series paper, it will be listed. Soft Sea Foam is coming through. Evening Evergreen, Coastal Cabana, yeah, all of those. Oh, Shaded Spruce, that's the other green that's coming through on this pattern. So I just want to show that to you in case you missed it in the catalog. It is stunning. So today I'm going to be using the one piece. <laughs> this is a problem. We love all this. The Yes, the DSP, but the pocketbook is weeping. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I'm with you. So I'm using the same pattern, but I'm going to be using two sides on my card today. So you need four pieces of DSP that measure one and three quarters by five and a quarter. Okay. So I have two, two, I'm going to use these two sides and these two sides. Okay. I've got four of those. I'm also going to need two pieces of basic white that measure the same. They measure uh, one and three quarters by five and a quarter. So I got two of those. I have a piece of Blackberry Bliss that measures three by three and three quarters. And I have another piece of basic white that is two and seven eighths by three and one eighths. You do not need to write this down. This is gonna be posted on my blog. Just go over to rosecolman.com and you're going to be able to see that blog post at noon Mountain Standard Time today. All right, let's get started. So let's do some stamping right off the bat first. So I'm gonna take these little strips and just put them over here. We're gonna do some stamping here. So we've got our strips and our front piece. So let's go ahead and get the stamping all done. I'm gonna grab, um, that's okay. My grid paper, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna stamp off today on here um, just a little bit. So these two strips, let's stamp those first. I'm gonna bring in the pieces, the stamps from Nature's Prints. We're gonna be using a lot of these today. So let's stamp the front piece. No, actually, let's do the inside pieces. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't decide. Okay, so we're gonna use this one here, this sprig, and the colors we're gonna use are gray granite and rich razzleberry. So I'm gonna ink up my sprig here with rich razzleberry, and we're gonna stamp on the left side over here, just like that. Then I'm gonna bring in this one here, this um, little, um, 
branch fern. Actually, it looks like a fern to me. I'm going to call it a fern. This little fern image. I'm going to stamp that right next to my um, little twig. Okay, so that's that. Remove that off to the side. On this one, I'm going to bring in this single flower. I haven't played with that one. Oops, not the right color. I want to use rich raspberries, so that's okay. I'm going to bring in my chamois. Let's clean, clean that off. Okay, so we're going to use rich raspberry with the flower. And of course, I just stuck my finger in the ink pad. Look at that. Got rich raspberry all over my fingers, right out the gate. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stamp one flower right here. And then we're going to take the flower and we're going to just kind of tilt it and stamp another one. And then we're going to tilt it again and stamp one down here in this white space. And I'm going to bring in my blender pen now. So a blender pen is a mixture. There's nothing in the blender pen. It's a mixture of water and glycerin. So if you see, I'm just using it on my grid paper. There's no color. But when you touch on uh, the stamped image, you can pull in the color, okay? I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and show you what I'm going to do here. Whoops. Whoa, that's a little too far. Let me zoom out. There we go. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my blender pen. Now these are double tipped, double like the same side on same tip on both ends. Okay, so when you buy a package of blender pens, you're actually getting three pens, which amounts to six blender pens. So six tips, right? So I'm going to take my blender pen and you see how when I touch the center of the flower, I pull in all that rich raspberry color. And this becomes essentially like a rich raspberry temporary marker. I call it temporary because you're going to run out of ink after a while. So you're just going to go around and add some color. And I didn't get the color from anywhere, just this, the image itself. This is water-based ink. It's on basic white cardstock. And I'm just pulling all that color in. And look how pretty these little flowers look. So I'm just going to quickly go around and do the same thing on all three flowers. Just adding some kind of coordinating color, just a little bit of pop of color onto my flowers. And it's not as deep as Rich Razzleberry because you can tell I'm kind of running out of color here a little bit. So let's just keep on going. It's uh, I'm just kind of touching the edges of the stamped images and picking up that little bit of Rich Razzleberry ink so that I can color in my flowers. So then when you're done, your blender pen is not ruined. It has a little color on it from the ink, right? And the tip is stained, but then you take your pen and then you just work it onto your grid paper until there's no more ink. See that? See, I've got strikes, strike uh, the, the little strokes there. And now this is ready to use in a different color. So if I wanted to color in leaves, for example, I could now do the same thing with green. Don't forget to put your cap on. So there we go. That's a little, Reminder about the blender pen, one of the very first tools I was ever introduced to. Now this comes in a package like this. As I mentioned, you get three blender pens and you, you're going to have these for a very, very long time before you need to order a new pack. Okay, what else? Okay, so we're going to bring in that little fern again and just make everything coordinate. I'm going to stamp one of those down here, just like that. And then I do love to blend the background right so i've got a little piece of sponge here with my gray granite tag stapled on it i'm going to dip that into my gray granite ink pad i'm just going to come all around the sides quickly here and add a little bit of sponging color just to soften up the edges a little bit you could also do this with um, the matching rich raspberry color too that would work so there's that one and then we'll do the same thing with the other one how is everyone doing today? Are you happy it's Friday? Do you have stamping planned for this weekend? I sure do. I got lots of swapping to do. I mean, a bunch of different swaps. Got to get my cards done and get them in the mail. Okay, so we are going to stamp. Not done with these yet. Just put them off to the side. Let's do the front focal point. So for this card, I'm going to stamp the stamp that says, hello there using rich razzleberry i'm going to stamp that in the bottom right hand corner just like that 
And then I'm going to use, I haven't used this stamp yet. There's a little splatter stamp in the set. Love a nice splatter. It makes a great background stamp. So let's use that. So I'm going to ink this up with gray granite and I'm just going to stamp all over here. The background and you can stamp off if your black, if your ink pad is really juicy and you're not liking the look, you can get a lighter look by just stamping off on your scrap paper first. So there we go. We've got that going on. And to match it, of course, I'm going to dip in and I'm going to add a little bit of gray granite to the background or the, the edges of this one. Dip, dip. Now, we don't sell these sponges anymore. We do sell the, the sponge daubers, which are fantastic. You just put them on your finger and you can do the same, same look, get the same effect. So there's my front focal point. We're going to put that onto a little piece here of Blackberry Bliss. Let's grab my glue and we'll put that on here. And this is my front focal point of this um, accordion lock card. I'm just so excited about this card. Okay, so there's my front piece. I do have a couple of die cuts here from our um, sun print dies. These are fantastic, these dies. I think I've played with just about all of them this week. Um, and what I've done is I've used Sorry for my arm here. I want to show you what I've done. I've used these two dies and I cut one with gray granite and one with rich razzleberry. Okay, I've already done that. So we don't, you don't have to watch me crank those through. So we got those. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue to these just really quick here. Just add just a few little dots will do you. Just you don't need to worry. Super quick. So I'm going to put my rich razzleberry one like this and then i'll put my gray granite one like so coming out like this we're just kind of filling in that background space all right so we've got that and it doesn't matter that they're not completely stuck down because i'm gonna i'm gonna anchor them down in just a second here so we need a scrap piece of white we've got one right here we're gonna stamp this beautiful image i love it absolutely love it i'm gonna stamp it with my rich razzleberry ink on here like that. Okay, so there's our rich raspberry ink and there's our die cut. We're gonna put that right on top. Make sure it's lined up and press my washi tape down. And I'm gonna bring in my mini boss and we're gonna cut that out. All right, here we go. So we're gonna put this down on the platform like so. And then we're gonna put this on top, roll it through. Thank you, mini boss. You are the best. Love my mini boss. Okay, so there we have our image. Let's pop that out. To add to the sponging, I have my rich raspberry sponge. I'm going to add a little bit of color just to make it pop a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of color to the edges of my die cut. Just a tiny little kiss of rich raspberry on the edges, just to, you know, accent that beautiful, beautiful color. I love Rich Razzleberry and I love Blackberry Bliss. These are such nice, vibrant colors. All right, so we'll flip that over and we're going to put some dimensionals on. We're going to put three dimensionals, one here, one here, and then one on this side. And this is going to go on to my front focal point. I'm making all the pieces for my card and then I'm going to put it together. So this is going to go right here off the edge, just like that. Okay. So we've got hello there on the inside on this piece. I'm going to put stamp. Sorry, you're on my mind. I love this. You're on my mind. How many people do you have on your mind, right? That maybe live somewhere else or going through something, having a rough time. Oh my gosh, this is a stamp you're going to need in your collection, right? Hello there. You're on my mind. Okay, so now let's bring back the card base and we're going to put we'll close it up so this is the closed position so i want these beautiful pieces to be on the front okay so let's grab these we're going to glue those down all right flip them over we'll start from the outside and we'll work in we're going to add our glue if i'm missing your comments i will come back and read them i promise it's just that my camera is above my head and i can't see your comments right now. 
but I, I do appreciate you um, interacting with me and asking questions or commenting, letting me know where you're joining me from. I love it. Absolutely love it. It makes me feel like I'm not alone here. <laughs> okay, so there's our front panel. Love it. Now, we have panels for the inside as well. And I'm going to go ahead and put those down. But first, I need another little mechanism that's going to make this um, work. So push all this off to the side. I have a piece of scrap cardstock here that measures, uh, where's my one and a half piece? Yes. So scrap white just measures one and a half. I'm going to score this down the middle. Okay. And I'll share with you why I'm doing that in just a second. So I'm going to pop this into my trimmer. And I'm going to score it at three quarters of an inch. And that gives me the center score line. So the reason I want that is because I'm going to bring in my die here. This is one of my circle dies. Let's see what the measurement of this one is. This is a one inch circle. Now I, I'm using this because you guys probably realize that we do not sell the circle punches anymore. I know, it's so sad. But you may still have circle punches. So if you do have a circle punch, you just need two of these. But I'm going to show you because we don't have circle punches. So I'm going to just quickly cut two of these. So you need two one-inch circles that are scored in half. So that's why I made that big, long score line. So that they would just come out of the cutter already scored for me. So make sure you put your die so that that center score line... This one's not really in the center. Uh, we're going to make it work. So make sure you put your die on so that you've got it, the score line in the center of your circle. All right, there we go. Let's move this guy off to the side. And here we have our circles. Okay, so you want them scored in the center like this. Okay, so these are our little mechanisms we're gonna use on our fun fold card. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue, liquid glue on half. Okay, so I'm putting liquid glue here and here. And I'm going to bring in my card base. Okay, and that center score line, I want to take, let me make sure I'm still in the camera here. I want to take this and I'm going to put one right here on my center score line. Fold it in, you can fold it in half if it helps you. But we just want that score line to be right at the center. Okay, so just like this. So we're doing one on that side and the other one is going to go on this side. So just like two half moons, it kind of looks like, right? I'm just going to hold that until it's stuck. So let me show you. There's a kind of an aerial shot, right? Can you see that? And then we've got these two little flaps here. This is where I'm going to put my front part on. So let's bring in all the other pieces. So these two pieces of designer series paper here's my closed card here like this so these ones i'm going to flip over and use the opposite pattern and they're going to go right on top of this mechanism like this so let's add our glue and we'll add we'll put these in put them down and we're going to cover up that half circle on the inside like that and like this all right there we go now these pieces this one's going to go over here and this beautiful piece is going to go over here so i still have lots of room i could do my writing over here and over here still lots of room in this card to add your greeting to whoever it is that you're thinking of and let's go ahead and put that one over here line it up there we go and then this one's going over here I love it, oh my gosh, look at this. So there's the closed card with the two little flappy flappies. And then when you open it, it's like this, and look, it actually comes up. So I'll show you what that looks like when we put our front focal point on. Here is our front greeting, our front focal point. We're gonna put this right onto these little flaps. Easy peasy, all you have to do is take two um, dimensionals. We're gonna put one here and one over here peel off the backing of both and then we're going to bring in this piece this square piece and we're going to put this down on that and then watch this you you fold your card up fold this piece in this piece in and look at that oh my gosh i love it look at that wow 
So you open it like this, it sits flat. This is the inside. I mean, the inside, when you open it, it looks so beautiful, right? And then when you close it up, it's like this, and then you flatten it and it fits in a car, in an envelope. It is so fun. So let's bling this up with a little bow. We have gray granite shimmer ribbon here. I'm gonna use that. <laughs> have I made you fall in love with this suite? Well, that was my goal, Karen. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm just going to share with you another color version. Don't don't leave me yet. I got something to share with you. I got a different color version of this one because this card can be made with any suite. So I'm taking my, my silver, um, not silver, gray granite ribbon. Is it gray granite? Yes. Gray granite shimmer. And I'm making a little bow and I'm just tightening it, making it small. And then I'm going to bring in my scissors and I'm going to trim this off like this. There we go. And we're going to use a glue dot. We're going to put this on the card and then I'm going to bring in my, my other color because I'm dying to share the other one with you. So I love the Sun Prince paper. It has a lot of, <laughs> a lot of blue in it. And sometimes you need a little bit of pop of color. And I don't want you to not grab this suite because of, you know, maybe you're tiny or you're tired of blue. You can totally use this suite with all the different colors, right? So here is my Rich Razzleberry with a little bit of Blackberry Bliss. And my other one I want to share with you, I use the colors from the Sun Suites, the Sun Print Suite. That's a mouthful, Sun Print Suite. So this one, when you open it, it looks like this with our gray granite and the night of navy. Now I didn't color my flowers. I just left them white on this one because, well, I don't know of many flowers that are navy, but anyway, you could totally color it if, if you wanted to add even more color. But this one folds up like this and it's a, a, your uh, thick basic white cardstock and rich raspberry. I love them both. What do you guys like? What's your favorite? Is it the rich raspberry or the night of navy? I love them. So thank you so much, everybody, for all your wonderful comments. I appreciate you all so much. Let me bring in, before I flip my camera, I want to share with you the all the cards because it's Friday. Let's do a little recap. So on Monday, I started off the week with the Global Design Project Challenge, which I love to do. This was my first one, Monday. Tuesday, I did one using the products in the suite with the blue paper. Then on Wednesday, I pulled in some pop of color with Melon Mambo and the Knight of Navy. Yesterday, Thursday, I cased my team member Bonnie and her card using this one. And so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And here's Friday. There we go. We've got all of our cards here on the screen. Now, don't forget, if you... Um, want to purchase this suite if you live in Canada and you purchase the suite anywhere in Canada it is $105 but you're going to get the stamps the dies the paper and the embossing folder the background embossing folder you're going to get all of these this so Sylvia these will be posted on my blog which is rosecoleman.com this if you go to my blog it's just www.rosecoleman.com they will be posted the, the, this these measurements will be posted for the fun fold at noon today all right if you purchase that suite from me before midnight on sunday you're going to get all of the pieces to make all five of these cards so you will do your own cut stamping i can't stamp images and send you but i will send you the basic white cardstock the piece of glimmer paper you know, the designer series paper, and then you will have to stamp and die cut using your own products because you're going to have this bundle, right? So I'm so excited. Let me flip you back around. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you for your comments. I will go back and read them, make sure I didn't miss anybody. But I've had a great week playing with the Sun Prince suite. It is such a great suite. You can make hello cards, best wishes cards, wedding cards, even sympathy cards, right? Like this would make a really nice sympathy card. Just change out the greeting, really beautiful colors. It's such a versatile suite and I'm so happy I added it to my collection. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you'll come back and join me on Monday at 9.30 Mountain Standard Time. And if you live in the Calgary area, come out and see us tomorrow at the Dalhousie Community Center. From 11.30 to 1.30, we have a lot of stuff we're gonna be selling you guys. 
really reduced prices of retired Stampin' Up! stuff. So we'll see you tomorrow and we'll see you on Monday. Take care, have a great weekend and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Um, hope you guys have a great Sunday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.